All right, it logged in. <coughs> so let's go back through this again and see live chess. <coughs> so this is live chess. It's set on 10 minutes. You can play a 10 minute game with somebody. You can also play, um, you can play one minute, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. You can play 15 minutes. You can play two, one. Oh, that's two minutes, one second delay. Three, three, two is three, three minutes. A game with two seconds. 15 minutes with 10, 10 minutes more. You can play for 60 minutes. You can play regular 45, whatever. So there are a whole bunch of things there. And tournaments, these are the upcoming tournaments. Five and five, that means you, it, the, <coughs> you've got five minutes to play a game. You get five seconds extra per every move. Blitz, same with three and two. 10 rapid, that means you get 10 minutes. Uh, that's for a rating area. My rating is in that area and so on down the hill. So there's various tournaments that go on throughout the day. So that's that. Daily chess. Let's have a look what daily chess says. Nothing. Computer. So we'll do this again slowly and explain what I'm doing. <coughs> And we'll choose Jimmy 600. Friendly with hints, but we don't need those. We'll just go through the logics. Uh, queen pawn opening. And um, this is, what's this called? Um, I don't think this is called it. It must be, it must be a name to it. The Albin Counter Gambit. I don't know, but anyway, it's offered a free pawn, so we'll take it. <coughs> it's offering another pawn. Now, we've got a choice here of not doing that. So, what will we do? Let's think what we can do. We can take it. The queen will take it. We can push it forwards. And if the pawn takes it, then we can take the queen. That's not a bad thing, because it causes the... That puts us in an end game kind of situation where the king has moved. <coughs> it is a bit more protracted. Uh, we can protect it. We can protect it with a queen, but then the knight. If we protect it with the king, it captures, we get a check. Uh, the bishop will come out in front. I don't like that. Uh, we can develop the knight, which is a better move. <coughs> Uh, pawn takes pawn, knight takes pawn. Um, so capturing it is, we've actually got a pawn, we've got to think about that, and just develops a piece. <coughs> Better not to develop your opponent's pieces. Better not to move the queen early in the game. <coughs> so we'll just go for defending it. <coughs> So that is called passing. When a pawn goes from here, passes through the attack point of this pawn here, <coughs> you can capture it. It's like the pawn was here originally and you can capture it. So you always capture en passant. It's called en passant. So we'll capture that pawn. <coughs> now we've captured another pawn and our opportunities are that can take this. If we push it up to here, <coughs> it can take it with the queen, take it with the bishop. Uh, whatever else we can capture it it'll capture our queen so we'll push it up to there <coughs> it captures it with the bishop so we want to move look at what happens the bishop can move out here and there's nothing else going on <coughs> so strictly speaking I should play pawn to there that can't be attacked by an air this might lead to a bit more difficult play, but let's go for that. It's a 
We'll develop the bishop. <coughs> There's no bishop being developed here. We can develop the bishop there, bishop there, bishop there. Um, <coughs> let's put the bishop on the long diagonal. And now what? Now we'll castle. Let's do simple things. Generally speaking, develop knights before bishops. <coughs> um, move the rook because we're going to push the rook down. The king isn't developed. <coughs> push the push push the pawn forwards. <coughs> Capture the pawn. Now, we can capture the queen. We can capture the pawn. We capture it with the rook. Let's check. It has to recapture it with a bishop. What are we going to do here? We can push this pawn to here. Let's check. And that's mate. King can't move anywhere. So that's checkmate. There you go. Game over. <coughs> So how you look at the game. Now it's finished. You can play the next game. <coughs> um, we'll do analysis. So you click on analysis. <coughs> and this just moves it forwards and it tells you what the analysis of the move is. So that's a book move. <coughs> next move. That's called the Engl England Gambit or the solar gambit <coughs> let's move it again and it tells you d d types e5 is a book move that's an opening <coughs> it plays this that's also a book move it's playing book moves <coughs> so what did we elect to do it says that e4 is a good move it says that nf3 nc3 is a good move <coughs> We elected to do what? Push the pawn? We, we elected to play NF3. NF3 is a good move. So we played NF3. <coughs> E4 is an alternative. It plays that. D5 is a good move. Captures the alternative. <coughs> we played M plus on captures. It's the best. It doesn't do anything. <coughs> A6 is good. That takes that is better. <coughs> what did we do? The opportunities are to capture. Up here. The opportunities are to capture. Bishop to F4. NC3. What did we play? We pushed the pawn. We pushed the pawn. <coughs> D7 is a mistake. <coughs> It played captures, which is the best. We played e4, which is one of the good moves. <coughs> it plays b6, which is a mistake. <coughs> we play bishop c4, which is an excellent move. It plays g6, which is a mistake. <coughs> We play, where do we play? We play castles. Castles is a mistake, <laughs> according to this anyway. <coughs> Should have played d5. Should have played queen d5. All right, because queen d5 gives you a mate in one. Didn't see that. Develops a knight. It's such an inaccuracy. We play rook e1, which is a good move. <coughs> it makes a mistake. We push the pawn, which is best. It capture, it moves that, which is a mistake. We capture the pawn. It moves the bishop. It moves at a random. <coughs> it moves at random, and we play there, which is mate. <coughs> so that shows you game. It shows you the openings, the name, the moves, the caliber of the moves, and that's what you will do. <coughs> Um, now I don't know how to get back to where we came from playing Jimmy 600 
<coughs> I've got my own rating down here, but uh, let's click on Jimmy 600. Jimmy 400. Oh, I guess it opens up different levels. So let's go to home, play, play computer, play computer. So I guess you have to play so many games before it. Oh, beginner. <clears throat> You should have a rating or something better. Who are you? 250, 400, 700. All right. It's opening up slightly different levels of play. So if you can beat this guy, then you play again until you get, you don't have, a, you will get a rating somewhere if you put in whatever in. So that's that. Let's go through the other things on here. <coughs> uh, puzzles. Let's do a daily puzzle. <coughs> I need to get the light out of my face. So let's look at the daily puzzle. <coughs> Black to move. <coughs> Black to move. So let's see what we can see. Queen is attacking here. <coughs> Queen is attacking the king with check. <coughs> so the queen is attacking the queen. Is queen is attacking the king with check. So we need to move the king to protect the queen. So we move that to there. And that's the wrong move. Oh, it should have been queen takes queen, I beg your pardon. Anyway, try again. It's queen takes queen. That's the right move. <coughs> and now we can move our king up. It'll move to here. <coughs> Point to there. King moves to here. So I would move up to... It doesn't like that. Holy crap. So we move the pawn up. We capture. It's a pawn race. So we have to move the pawn. If we move the pawn to here, it gets to there. And then we can't move into this square. It's covered, so we have to play there. And solved. <coughs> so you can do daily... Uh, daily puzzles. Where are we? <coughs> puzzles. Learn. You come in here and you learn openings. So openings. <coughs> that gives you all the openings here. All the various moves of all kinds. <coughs> and it shows you here positions of the basic openings. So that's where you start. You'll just be playing Jimmy at random. <coughs> But you'll learn what is the Queen's Gambit. So let's we start with the simple one of Queen's Gambit. And you can just carry on here. One of the fundamental variations of D4 is the Queen's Gambit. White immediately strikes at Black's pawn in the center from side. Da -de -da -de -da -da. So we move forwards. What does this do? Move forwards. Oh, you have to make the move. What? It's Black's move, though. Black to move. Oh, Black can do... Em <coughs> oh, this, these... What, when you cover the, go over these, these are the moves it can prospectively make. So you're going to do Queen's Gambit Accepted, which is that. You click on that, <coughs> and it moves up to that position. It shows you what moves you can make down here. <coughs> and I always play this. So I play that, and variously it shows you the moves, all the various moves that black can play, and their probabilities of being any good or not. <coughs> so 
generally speaking, you develop the king side. Uh, e5 is. Don't know what e5 leads to. You'll just uh, capture the bishop, no doubt. <coughs> but let's just do the standard line. It plays this. <coughs> you capture the pawn. <coughs> Want unlimited openings go to premium. All right. Not today. So it'll allow you to do so many moves in the openings. So you learn some of the basic few opening moves. And uh, that's what you'll do. So go ahead and do some of that. Make sure you do a little bit of this every day and learn something.